2020 NSX. This is getting some wheel spacers and then a lip in the front. Well, I'm going to show you a couple of little tips and this is just the way we are. I'm not going to tell you this is the way you have to do it. Something as simple as taking off the wheels, you can damage them, scratch them. And there is a couple of little tips I'm going to show you. Uh, first off, we're going to put it up in the air. And there are little plastic caps right here that have to be removed first. And there is a tool in the car to remove those. Before we put the spacers on, let's get a quick look on the wheel. You can see where that comes in relation to the body line. Get a little bit better idea. Right here, you can kind of see how the wheel sinks in. The newer Type S model that Acura just released, it was in limited production. They actually changed the offset of the wheel and made this look a little bit more aggressive, and it does look better. Something as simple as wheel spacers make a big difference. Let me show you the wheel spacers that he's provided. So wheel spacers from Signs of Speed, he's got the front and the back. They're two different sizes right here. There is a 20 millimeter for the back, at a 12.5 for the front. So let's take a look. You get an idea how these look coming out of the packet. They do provide the new lugs with them too. We're going to keep these separate. They are going to be different lengths, but you need the longer bolts for the spacers. So these are hub centric. They have this area here so it fits that's what the hub looks like on the car so it fits perfect on there that's what hub centric means so we have a pair of 12.5s with the bolts right here and what's nice is right here we have the bolt to hold that on right through here that way when you change the wheel everything's not going to fall apart we'll make sure the surface is clean on the factory hub as well as these obviously these are brand new but you don't want any debris between these when you bolt it on it could cause a slight deflection and give you an out of balance wheel situation front let's keep this separate the bolt should be a different length we'll just verify that yes so it's always good to do this ahead of time sounds silly but past experience it's easy to mix things up so these are the 20s again these are for the rear 20 for the back 12.5 for the front so we'll take a look at these then i'm going to show you the little trick to removing the wheel there we are same thing hub centric so once you remove two lugs basically it's a little tube with a thread on the end it's like a long bolt but it allows you to help line the wheel up without dragging the wheel over the caliper. So you're basically going to screw this in where the lug came out. Now we have those installed. You still be careful removing the wheel. The rotors are big. The caliper is big. It can drag the wheel. Last thing you want to do is scrape that caliper. Make sure the surface is clean. And then when the spacer is installed, make sure it feels nice and flat. There's no debris between it. Tighten down your supplied screws. That way that spacer will stay in place when or if you remove the wheel so there we go same again on the back remove the factory screws reinstall the new screws with the spacer
So the Science of Speed bumper guard right here, it's a really cool piece. It's six pieces total. There is a backing piece. There's a piece that goes under the lip and then a backing piece that goes on the other side. It kind of sandwiches it together, makes it a little bit more rigid. And of course it has all the quick nuts to install and then stainless button head Allen balls to go from the bottom side. It's actually a really cool piece. It fits perfect, takes a little bit extra time to get lined up, but when it's on, it looks good. It's going to protect the front. It's going to allow you a little bit more skid resistant if you do scrape a driveway going in and out of a small slope. It's going to protect your bumper, and in the event you tear this up, you can replace it. It's going to be a lot less expensive than the bumper. Definitely a nice piece.